Hello, this is Kevin from Surfing the Ether, and I just want to say that this is my first ever screencast, so please be gentle. But uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to um, join text data in two separate columns and then join them up to create a third separate column. So this is a handy trick that you can use in Excel. So I'm going to start off by typing in the column heading which will be full name and in order to join the first names and last names you use a very simple um, formula and I'm going to type it in so equals I'm going to click on a2 which is our first name and now I'm, go I'm going to use a character called an ampersand so if you look on your keyboard you press shift and you press the number 7 and there is the ampersand and then you click on B2 and press enter hooray so you see that we've joined our first name and last name but there's a slight problem there's no space in between the first name and last name so what we have to do is to tweak our formula just a little bit um, and add the space in manually so let's redo our formula equals a2 ampersand inverted commas add in your space inverted commas ampersand and click on b2 for our surname and press enter and there we go there's our first name and last name in one column now you probably have a data set or an excel spreadsheet that has many many records so in order to extend this formula to all the records um, you notice a little black box in the bottom right um, click on this black box and click and drag all the way down and there's all, all our names now the disadvantage of having your data in this format is that it's dependent on these two source fields so if I change for example this cell you'll notice that it will change our join over here so in some situations you might want to separate the dependence or, or remove the dependence that this field has on these two fields over here and to do that all you do is you select your data right click click on copy then in a brand new field you right click and you click on paste special and you click on values or you select values and click OK so if I change my name over here you notice that it doesn't change it in our brand new field because it's no longer dependent so I'm going to remove the C column and there we go that's how you join two columns in Excel I hope this trick will be handy and thank you for watching cheers